Hey, what's up? It's Bond, and today we're going to be talking about Mass Effect, specifically some beef I have with the Angara, and uh, some things I hope change uh, for the next game. Before we get to that, please subscribe to the channel if you like Mass Effect, if you like video game discussions and news in general. I have a couple podcasts that I host on here as well, and uh, you know, if you like all of that, subscribe, hit the like button on this video, comment down below, and if you really want to support everything I do, consider becoming a member. So getting into the topic at hand, the Angara. Uh, I, for a long time, was really hoping that the leaks and stuff, and not, not even the leaks, but the teases and things from 2020, 2021, 2022 uh, for N7 Day and other things with the next game, the next Mass Effect game, uh, was implying the next game was going to take place in the Milky Way right after Mass Effect 3. I was so sure. And then the 2023 in 7 Day happened and threw out most of my theory. So I won't be getting into all of that necessarily today. But what I will talk about is how I hope they retcon or redesign or whatever the Angara from Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, I mentioned that because... In the poster they released with this last N7 day, there's a basically a bar scene uh, superimposed on the N7 agent that we uh, that we see, and in that image there is a Angara um, in the kind of in the middle right of the image. Uh, to me, this is them pretty obviously uh, being like, "Hey, Angara will be in the next game." try to figure out what that means in which you know i've been trying to do that without much success but let's talk about aesthetics a little bit so i'm going to show a picture uh of the angara um from mass effect andromeda um i've got a lot of beef with this uh i've talked about this multiple times i was also inspired by a video recently by Kala elizabeth where she talked about all the reasons uh, you know, all the issues she has with Andromeda. It's a long video, but it's a good one. Um, and one of the big topics that she talked about and that I agree with is how the aliens especially just didn't look right in Andromeda. Now, we know it was the first Mass Effect game on the Frostbite engine. Uh, we know that we're also coming back to the Unreal engine with this next game. And so maybe that will alleviate some of these issues uh, but even in this concept art, a lot of the issues people had with the Andromeda aliens having like the hyper exaggerated squat legs and things like that. Well, those those are present in the images in this new uh, little teaser picture. But the thing that gets me the most and that Kala talked about as well in her video is just how bad the Angaran look, the Angara, Angaran, whatever. And how they just, to me, they just stand out so much. Where I feel like, you know, most of the trilogy alien designs feel pretty grounded and feel pretty, you know, normal. Um, where the Angara, they just like, their eyeballs don't look like they should fit in their skulls. I I'm sure this was more of a technical limitation, but they have this like squat kind of like toddler walking in a poopy diaper kind of walk where they kind of like waddle around everywhere and they just even to the point of like their colorings and their colorations and they just look weird and they don't look very good one of the things that's the most frustrating about this to me is how um i'll try to show it here as well there's this art from the angaran homeworld in mass effect andromeda it's near the entrance where you first walk in and you look at this art and they look so cool they kind of look kind of like turians a little bit but they have like extremely unique kind of like heads and and, and faces and um they, they have this like tall like almost like uh, avatar you know navi kind of look to them of this like kind of proud tall these kind of like intimidating looking creatures with these skulls that kind of look like helmets and um, they just look cool. Like they just look really nice in this picture. And what's so funny about it is that if you look at that picture and then you look at what we got, it's, it's like weird. Like it's bizarre. Like whatever Angaran artist made this mural, 
uh, they were like really, you know, taking some liberties with how cool they look, right? Now, what I'm assuming it actually is, is this art was probably from some concept art or something. Um, and then when they actually got into, uh, you know, making the game and stuff, their vision uh, maybe didn't quite match up with what they were able to actually make in the game, or they just took a different direction. Um, I've always described the Angarans as looking like uh, rejected animated Star Wars uh, aliens, like a design that they made, like, oh, that looks awful. We're not going to use that. And it's just, I, I don't know. I just, I've, I've always felt like the alien designs in Mass Effect were cool because they were like just, they had like just enough humanoid features to be able to emote and things like that for the most part in a way that we can tell other than the Elcor, of course, who just tell us what they're emoting. Um, and then the Angaran just like, was just such a weird step away from what we had gotten before. Um, and, and, and I think some of it's technical. I think some of it's art, you know, the art side of it. But I guess what I'm kind of getting at is that if the Angarans are inevitable in this next game, which I really wish they weren't, I really wish we were taking more time before we dove back into Andromeda or however they're going to, you know, combine things. If they're going to be in there, I just like really heavily hope and, and pray even that they, they, they consider a redesign, that they consider not using that awful way they look in the Andromeda, you know, let maybe retcon and things a little bit, be willing to be bold, right? And give us something that looks more like that art that was in, uh, you know, their home world. And, and even uh, I saw some of the concept art as well, um, of where they had like more of like an aquatic look and things like that. I don't actually particularly like that very much, um, but just that art that's in their own home world, like looks so good. And so I just really hope that they uh, maybe go towards something like that. And I hope that we get more alien species. I hope we see the Rowloi, which is, I think, being kind of hinted or maybe even confirmed in that same uh, 2023 and seven day art. There's also various other species, I guess we've never seen, but do exist in the trilogy world. And they just, a technical limitation, they just couldn't put them in. Um, and then I think even the concept of opening up new relays in the Milky Way and discovering entire new star systems uh, and entirely new civilizations and species and stuff would be really cool. Um, I think that'd be a fun way to uh, to show that this game, uh, that this world and this galaxy has moved beyond the trilogy. But we'll have to wait and see. So let me know what you think about the Angarans if you'd like to see them redesigned for the next game. If you like this video, subscribe, hit the like button, comment down below with your own thoughts. You can find me as Bond Diesel all over the place. Please check out my other content on this channel, including a couple podcasts, uh, The Bonfire, which is a weekly gaming news podcast, and The Mass Effect Hypecast, which is about the next Mass Effect game. You can also catch me over on Twitch a few times a week, where I am currently streaming a new modded Mass Effect Trilogy playthrough, so come check that out. That's all I have for this one, so until next time.